I have a keyboard connected via that small breakout board. I can okay. show that. Mm -hmm. You see that small breakout board? Mm -hmm. So I this is just to probe the USB signals. Right. That's a small board with just a USB A and a, and a USB B connector. So you see that we have these these two signals. These are the that's the, the D plus and that's a D minus. These are the data signals from the USB bus from that keyboard. And these are the alive packages so that the uh, that the, the host PC knows there is still a device connected. So uh, it sends a re uh, request and the device answers. Um, so, and in that, that ch channel setup, you see that there is a button decode um, and but the decode opens. First, yeah. we need to create the differential signal from these two signals. No, 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 that's done by the decoder. Ah, okay. That's automatically done. So we okay. would like to decode this USB signal. So you click yeah. on the decode and... Uh, we have up to four decoders we can set up individually. And so the under these protocols, we have many, many different uh, um, serial decoders. I select the USB 2 and I go into the setup to set up my USB 2 decoder. Um, the bus speed needs to be set to low speed because a keyboard is a low speed device. And I measure with two single-ended probes and I need to associate the... Uh, the channels, channel three and four, these are my data signals. And the switch on the decoder. And here we go. You see that uh, that uh, the decoding, what the what the scope finds on that on that signal. Mm -hmm. um, I go to stop mode that we fix that acquisition, and I can now scroll here through the table. These are all the all the uh, decoded parts, what the scope finds, and I click on the table, and the scope directly zooms into that. I just show the uh, a different crit type. I think so. These are my my uh, my input signals. I can arrange them how I like to, for what fits me best. The scope uh, set up a math function, and it subtracts C3 minus C4 and creates that differential signal in a math function, and applies then the the decoding to that math function and mm -hmm. not to not to the input signal because that's that's a true differential signal signal what the USB uh, devices see. They don't they don't care about the single ended, they just care about the differential signal. And so we see here the the, the, the details of that uh, um, of that differential signal. That's a sync and then the, that's a transaction in. Oops, that was the wrong button. And so you can see the the, the details. You can even zoom more in and you can get more details what these uh, single parts means. Now we would like to so, trigger on specific yeah. event. Okay. So via the the the, uh, the decoder, you can directly go to the trigger. And if you link that signal to the trigger, every settings change you make to the decoder will automatically be automatically be done to the to the trigger as well. Now I go to the trigger setup, and it's already set up to low speed with channel three and channel four as the input traces at one volt. And I can now trigger on any sync. I just trigger and say normal. And then the scope uh, makes with each new acquisition, it makes uh, decodes. But now we, we can trigger on a specific event. We want to trigger on the key press. So I, I, I press a key on my keyboard and the scope should, should trigger. So I go to transaction. I select transaction in. There are different transactions. I can even go to any type. So if I do anything on, this, on the keyboard, the scope triggers, and you see that there is uh, that there is data. Um, and I know now I see it's the device address two. Uh, I can trigger on an in. I select the device address two. Um, the endpoint is one or one. And now when I now click on the on the keyboard, you see that there is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's triggering. Uh on everything what is coming from the X2 and N.1, yeah. Uh, that's a sync. Uh, just let me move a bit forward. Here comes the data. Oh. Yeah. So the data is the, the zero 07 in the middle. If I press another key, it's changed eight. to the zero 08. 15. 15, 17. One C, so it depends on the on the on the key I press. <clears throat> this data is then transmitted via the the USB uh, port to the to the host, and the host knows how to decode that value zero B um, 
to uh, appropriate uh, keystroke. Wow, this can be sometimes useful. 